So I just made the worst mistake of googling an eye ulcer and then clicking images and it was disgusting. So I'm really really sorry that happened to you. <laughs> it was so gross. Anyways, uh, right now I'm sitting in my room doing nothing exciting. I think later today we might be going into town like some of the girls from Glenard might be going to a museum or something, but I'm not really sure. Um, let's see, nothing really exciting has been, oh, well, a few things. Um, first, if you read my blog, you know pretty much all the exciting things that I do because I just put that on my blog because I have nothing else. So, <laughs> um, so I went to Kilmainham Jail, which was really cool and depressing. Yeah, so they take you throughout the whole jail and they show you like how terrible it was to be in jail there like the prisoners would be like originally when it was built they wanted it to be one person per cell and for 23 hours of each day you were in your cell with complete silence to think about what you did so you can like repent and like reform or whatever and then that one hour you're outside you get to go outside for exercise and you go into this like tiny tiny little like courtyard and you just would walk with your head down and you would just walk in circles with all the other inmates in complete silence and then after an hour of walking in a circle with your head down they take you back to your cell and lock you in and then they took us into a chapel and they told us the story and it was about Joseph Plunkett and he was a revolu he was like a rebel an Irish rebel in the 1916 revolution and he was captured and he was going to be executed and they allowed his fiance Grace Gifford to come and get married to him the day that he was going to be executed and they tell you this whole story about how she like comes and there's like nobody at the wedding except for her and Joseph Plunkett and the guards and she gets they get married and then she has to leave and then a couple hours later she comes back to say like her final goodbyes because he's gonna die that night and they get like 10 minutes together and there's like a guard in the room with them and he's like counting down like on the clock the 10 minutes that has to go and then she leaves and then he goes and dies and it's like oh my gosh this is horrible and then later when they built the new jail they like couple like probably like seven years later Grace Gifford was imprisoned in that same prison so like I just left and I was just like this is like literally like the most sad thing ever <laughs> and then last night so I go to a, the girls club and I help out with the girls club for Opus Day, and we went and played laser tag and our team won and then afterwards we had to go drop off the girls um, at Trinity because we had to meet her mom there because she it's really far for them so they have to drive um, so we drive halfway but then we went to go pick up Mora who's another um, lady that lives in Glenard and then she took us to her local pub and it was really cool because we went into the section that only like the locals really know about because there's like two she said normally in pubs there's like two sections and there's like the like where everybody goes and like where like tourists would go and stuff but then there's a place that is just known by locals and we went in there and it's like really small and we were like the only young people there everybody was like the, all these old men just like hanging out and they were like it was like really cozy and tight and um they call it they call the place a snug so like if you say you're going to your local like everybody has a local in Ireland, like a local pub. So you'll be like, oh yeah, I'm going to my local, which means pub. And then you'd be like, oh, I'm going to the snug. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is my first time making a vlog. I mean, I sent a video to Julie and Elise, but I don't think that really counts. And I made like a tr two Trinity thing, but it, I wasn't talking at all. So hopefully this is okay. And hopefully it gets better as we keep going. I know we've been kind of slow about doing this so I'm glad you decided to send me another one and hopefully we can kind of keep this up a little bit better and hopefully I can actually talk to you in person on the phone or on Skype at some point when our schedules meet up and we're able to figure out how to call each other when you have Wi-Fi when I have time and when it's not like in the morning for you and when it's not super late for me so anyways I'll talk to you soon